This is the founder of BLM. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store, y'all better get it now. Father's Matter shirt is restocked and it's going fast. So get on the link. The link is in the description section. We will restock. But if you want one now, you don't want to have to wait for the restock. You better get on there and get it now. For everybody that's watching this on the YouTube channel, for my people, um, United We Stand get 20% off. United We Stand get 20% off. That also goes for my book, uh, Beating Black and Blue. But y'all already know what to do. All the links are there. Let's get into it. I got to do that right. Let's get into this. I almost messed my whole video up. Anyway, let's talk about uh, 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 Patrice Cullors and BLM. And I've been saying this from the very beginning. I don't understand how anybody anywhere at any time can continue to support and even support the decision that they used to support BLM after knowing what these people are doing. This is the fa this is a co-founder, meaning three women, co-founder of BLM that ended up resigning because they found out she bought mansions in all these white neighborhoods. And then they in trouble because they got 60 something million dollars that nobody know where, it's, where it went, where it's going, it's unaccounted for. They're barred from, from uh, uh, raising money in California and other states around the country. And then we found out the other day they bought like a $6 million mansion. And then, then Michael Brown family, uh, Eric Garner family, none of these people got any significant money from BLM and they raised hundreds of millions of dollars on their death. But in, on top of all of that, people are not talking about the psychological uh, uh, thought process or the, 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 what these people stand for, but I'm going to show you right now. Shout out to my boy Will Johnson for posting this video. Y'all need to go follow him on the social media networks. But listen to what they say. They already removed, they want to destroy the nuclear family from their website, but listen to what they think. Roll the film. To really put it simply, abolition is the getting rid of police, prisons and jails, surveillance, and courts. So everybody is probably asking about abolition and what it is. Many of you remember the defund movement last summer. Well, a lot of the defund movement was actually a call for abolition. And to really put it simply, abolition is the getting rid of police, prisons and jails, surveillance, and courts. I know, sounds a little scary, but I promise you there is so much imagination. Imagine, you're going to have to imagine something. You want to get rid of the police department, courts and jails, surveillance? What are you even saying? That's not abolitionist. That's not an, uh, you know, an abolitionist, abolitionist. I said abolitionist. That's not an abolitionist movement. That's lunacy. That's re, let me say, not say that because they'll get me in trouble on here. This is not right, ladies and gentlemen. No human being should think this makes any sense. People are, are, are concentrating on a few crimes and making it seem as if that's the bulk of what police do. You may be upset because you don't think people should go to jail over drug crimes. Okay, I get it. You may be upset about it. But my God, do you sleep under a rock? There are people committing way more crimes than drug offenses. And if you don't have police and somebody go rob you and kick, what, who going to stop them? Who going to catch them? And if they know there's no police, y'all going to be getting robbed like nobody. They rob you with the police, with the jails in the court system. They'll rob you in broad daylight and kill you. Just imagine if there's none of that. It's going to be survival of the fittest. And some of y'all ain't got no guns. And the criminals got them all. Hollow points, everything. And you don't want no police. What happens when a child, something happens to a child that's illegal? And you know what I'm saying, but I can't say it on here. You don't want the police to be involved? You, you, don't, you don't want, how you going to find them? You don't want surveillance to be done? You don't want a court system? What happens when a man take advantage of a woman? You don't want nothing to happen? A guy on the internet doing stuff he ain't got no business doing. You don't want him to go to jail? What are you talking about? You don't want somebody like Jeffrey Dahmer that's going around doing stuff. If there's no police, there's no surveillance, there's no court, there's no jails, what happened to him? They would have never caught the man. How dumb are you? 
and you're representing the biggest black movement in the world has ever seen. And this is the way they think. It's not, I'm not making this up. It's not B. Tatum being partisan. You're a Republican. This is what is her own mouth. Out of her own mouth. The heart speaketh. This is her heart is dark. Well, I know it sounds crazy. Of course it sounds crazy. It doesn't make any sense not to have police officers. It doesn't make any sense not to have a court system in prisons. People are in prison for real reasons. You don't just go to prison because you steal a bag of candy. Or even, even if you're selling low-level amounts of drugs, you ain't in doing no real time, especially as a first offense. People that are doing real time have done significant crimes, the majority of them. Somebody said, Louis, do a year in prison. That's not a big deal. Some people are doing 20 and 30 years, 15 years, 8 years, 9 years. And ask, ask me how many people are have recidivated. I think that's how you say that word. The recidivacy rate. How many people have gone back at multiple times? Anyway. It's not like the system is eating these people up. These people are creating the system. They are bolstering the system. They are filling the jails. It's not that we have a, a prison complex. It's that people want to go to jail. And majority of them are black. But they don't address that. They want to take your money, trick you into something stupid, and then skate off in the night with mansions. Comment in the comment section. Make sure you get your shirt, Fathers Matter, because fathers do matter. That's why these women out here acting a fool. And these, they ain't got no man at home. They don't even believe in the nuclear family. That's why fathers matter. Fathers need to step up and, and, and be leading, not these knuckleheads. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one, man. I'm out.